O'Hara Davis knocks out Derry Matthews in the third round. Now, for me, this was the most predictable of all the fights on this particular bill. Hay versus Belly on the undercard. Very predictable. And I think the majority of people, judging by the pre-fight videos I did on this fight, the majority of people seem to believe that O'Hara Davis was going to win. But there was still a sizable minority, which grew a little bit as the fight got closer, who believed that Derry Matthews would win. The reason I always felt and said in all my videos that I think O'Hara is going to win is because Derry Matthews, for one, is coming off a loss and a retirement. So that's not a good start, is it? <laughs> he got stopped by Luke Campbell and he retired. So he's coming out of retirement to fight a much bigger, much younger, much stronger fighter in O'Hara Davis. So, you know, <laughs> that's just not a good look for Derry Matthews right off the bat. And there are a lot of people saying that they don't think O'Hara can do much and he can't win a world title. I've always been one of those kind of people that felt like O'Hara actually has a lot of potential and I do think he can win a world title. I've been saying this for a while. So I'm not, I'm not sure why people are so critical of O'Hara. Perhaps, again, I've mentioned this in previous videos, it's because they don't like him. And so it's wishful thinking. They don't like his personality or whatever. So in their mind, they're convincing themselves that he will never make it and never win a world title. I think he will win a world title. I've been saying this for a while. O'Hara Davis is a good talent. He's heavy handed. He's strong. He's got very long arms. He's quite accurate. So he seemed like a good prospect to me. I'm not saying he's going to go out there and clean up the 140 pound division. Not at all. But there's four belts per division. Five if you can, if you include the WBA regular title. So I don't see why he can't pick up a belt at all. You know, he took care of Derry Matthews in clinical fashion. There isn't really much to say about the fight. He boxed him for the first couple of rounds and bludgeoned him to the floor in the third round. It was what it was. Very predictable as far as I'm concerned. Not a surprise in the least. And I think most of you will agree with that. Most of you guys in the comments were picking O'Hara Davis to win. Too big, too young, too strong. And Matthews too old and too shot and past it. Coming off a loss and a retirement. So that's all there really is to say about it. Um, but let me know what you felt of O'Hara Davis's performance and how far you think he can go as a fighter. Do you, like me, believe he can go on to win over at least a version of a world title at some stage? Or do you think that he's a hype job, not all he's cracked up to be, all he did was beat an old Derry Matthews, this proves nothing. Maybe you think he's going to go nowhere like so many people were saying before this fight. Whatever the case is, drop it in the comment section below. It's happening, I'm out.